What's going on, Champagne Gang, Fizz fam? Welcome back to another sparkling episode of Push or Pass, where we crack open the vault of movie magic and spill all the bubbly truth on whether these flicks are worth the fizz or if they fall flat. Today, we're exploring the mind-bending adventure called Time Trap. Picture this, a group of students, a missing professor, and a mysterious cave system. What starts as a rescue mission turns into a mind-bending adventure that'll have you questioning everything you thought you knew about time and reality. Hello! Nobody's been on this land in decades. You guys don't have anything to worry about. It's going to be fine. anything like it. We were looking for someone who went missing. What do you think would happen? I think it's the sun. I think it's days and nights. Yeah, let's go! I just want to go. Time is passing differently down here than it is on the surface. Crazy, huh? <laughs> well, it is. So Hopper, an archaeology professor, is on the hunt for missing hippies from the 70s in a remote cave system. After he discovers a cowboy frozen in time, he heads back to town and dismisses his students, Taylor and Jackie, saying that their work is done. So several days pass and Hopper has not returned. Taylor and Jackie decide to go looking for him and they take their friend Kara, who brings her sister Veeves, who brings her friend Furby. So they follow Hopper's trail to a campsite by a cave where they find his vehicle and they find an entrance with climbing ropes leading inside and they decide to follow it thinking it was the way the professor went in. They follow it. Furby stays behind as backup for the base camp because he's afraid of spiders. They lower themselves into the cave when they begin hearing strange noises. They try to radio to Furby, but when he does not answer their radio calls, Jackie tries to climb back out, but the rope frays and she falls. She injures herself and she injures Taylor. So they try to call for help. They receive a transmission from inside the cave. And of course, they decide to follow it. So then our crew stumbles upon another cave opening where they find poor Furby, may he rest in peace, with a broken neck. But here's where things get wild because when they watch his video recordings, they realize while only an hour passed in the cave, several days have elapsed from Furby's perspective. Furby, being the adventurous soul that he is, started digging into Hopper's belongings when he was at the campsite, and he made a jaw-breaking discovery. Turns out, the hippies that Hopper was looking for are his parents, and he was on a quest to find his missing sister. His parents believed the cave held the key to the fountain of youth, and Furby was determined to unlock the truth. Driven by curiosity, Furby ventures into the cave to retrieve the keys for the vehicle, but tragedy struck when his rope was severed, sending him tumbling to the depths below. It's a heartbreaking turn of events that adds yet another layer to the mystery of this already captivating tale. So Taylor puts on his detective hat and he cracks the case. Turns out the cave is a time distortion zone. While events inside move at a snail's pace, 
outside time is zooming by with no other options Kara takes matters into her own hands and free climbs out of the cave to get a GPS signal. But here's the kicker. When she reaches the surface, she's greeted by a barren wasteland and there's no signal to be found. There's no nothing to be found. Returning to the cave, Kara compares video recordings and realizes that what felt like 30 minutes outside was just a few seconds from the viewpoint on the inside of the cave. As if things couldn't get any crazier, right? They review Furby's footage again and they discover he survived the fall only to meet an inn at the hands of a caveman. <laughs> That's right, a caveman. Kara and Taylor put two and two together and they realize that time is passing at an alarming rate outside the cave. What feels like a few hours inside could span several hundred or even thousand years on the outside. Can you imagine it? I mean, talk about a time warp, right? As Kara gears up to climb out for help, she's in for the surprise of her life. A futuristic humanoid spaceman descends from above on a retractable ladder. Before they have any time to catch their breath, a caveman comes out of nowhere, but the spaceman manages to subdue him with some kind of neck thingamajiggy without causing him any harm. As they try to make their escape, they stumble upon a chilling scene. A tribe of cavemen inspecting the dead bodies of a cowboy and Hopper's parents. Caught in the act, Taylor bravely has to fight off the cavemen, but tragically he loses the battle. So now there are two who have been lost. Just when all seems lost, the spaceman returns to save the day. They protect the remaining survivors from the cavemen and then do something truly extraordinary. They place Taylor inside of the healing pool of water, restoring him to life. But the danger isn't over. More cavemen attack and the spaceman is fatally wounded because by this time he's run out of oxygen or whatever they now breathe in space. But in his final moments, the spaceman shows the survivors several media clips about their disappearances, hinting at a future where humans have become spacefaring beings. It's jaw dropping and it leaves the survivors really. Taylor then makes a shocking discovery. Hopper is injured, but he's also in front of another time dilation and he's standing face to face with his long lost missing sister. But that's not all. A legion of conquistadors are locked in a fierce battle with the cavemen over the control of the waterfall, the very source of the time distortion at the heart of this cave system. So Hopper explains that the time distortion is the strongest at that point, making it impossible to rescue his sister. And with his last breath, he urges Taylor to save the others, knowing that his time has come. As Taylor and the others prepare to leave the cave with the spaceman's ladder, they are ambushed by cavemen. Just as all hope seems lost, Kara is unexpectedly pulled through a portal by future beings leaving her friends astonished. In a twist of fate, Kara reappears through the portal, now dressed differently and armed with rope-like mechanisms that pull her friends through to safety. A short while later, Furby, Hopper, and Hopper's family awaken in these water tanks, having been retrieved and resurrected with the healing waters. The group reunites, only to discover they are in a space station. They are greeted with the news that they are famous around here, but the mystery of who rescued them and why remains unsolved. It's a thrilling and unexpected end to an incredible journey. Time Trap is a thrill ride through time and space that'll have you on the edge of your seat. It's a mind-bending adventure that'll make you question reality itself. So does it get a push or a pass? You know the drill. Drum roll, please. Pop the champagne and let it 
is fam because time trap gets a sparkling push with four champagne bottles this movie is a roller coaster of time twisting adventure that keeps you guessing until the very end the concept of time distortion is executed brilliantly creating a suspenseful and immersive experience the visual effects are stunning, especially in the scenes depicting different time periods that happen within the cave itself. The film's ability to bend elements of sci-fi and adventure and mystery, which are all genres that I love, makes it a stand out in its genre. The performances are top notch, with every actor bringing depth and emotion to their roles. Overall, Time Trap is a captivating and thrilling ride that will leave you on the edge of your seat. It is a must watch for any sci-fi enthusiast that's looking for a fresh take on time travel. So grab your popcorn and your favorite bubbly because Time Trap is a journey you won't want to miss. Cheers to Time Trap and to you all, Fizz fam. Join us next time for more movie magic and sparkling reviews. Until next time, Keep the popcorn popping and the champagne flowing. Cheers. Stay bubbly.